So I got an email from a client the other day. Hello Sean, please could you film a video of my two sons playing football? I want to send the video to Man United to see. They have mad skills. Thank you, out of touch mother. So I spent a good few hours editing, color grading it, sending it off to the client. Hi Sean, thank you so much for the video. It's perfect. Yes. However, please can you remove my youngest son from the video? He has decided to pursue a career in accounting. If you're watching this video and you've been stuck in the same position, well, I'm going to show you how to remove people or objects from a video in order to show off your son's mad skills with the content aware tool in After Effects. Hit that intro. How's it guys? So I'm sure some of you have been in that situation before. I want to help you out with a tool called the Content Aware Tool on Adobe After Effects. Before we start, I'm not a master at Adobe After Effects. I know little bits of it here and there. And that's why I want to help you. If you have never used After Effects before, I want to make this as simple as possible so that you can do a really cool trick on your videos in After Effects. Here we go. Okay, I got my clip. I'm going to drag it in. You drag this little video onto that little icon to create a new composition from the video. And there we go. I wanna scale this thing down, so I'm gonna go up here, composition, composition, com composition settings, and make sure that it's 1920 by 1080. Sometimes After Effects, if your computer's not fast enough, when it gets to 4K footage, it can be really slow. I'm sticking to 1080p quality. So, first things first, all you have to do is click on the pen tool at the top, or you can hit the G key on your keyboard as a shortcut. You wanna find a point where your subject is pretty much in the frame by themselves, um, not much surrounding them. So that's a good point. If I was doing it here, he's a little bit close to his brother, so I'm putting it right there. And I make sure I click on my video layer over here, that it's selected, pen tool selected. And all you're gonna do is just create a really simple mask uh, around him. Give it a little bit of space around your subject like this. Boom, boom, done. Uh, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down to the layer here, this little arrow, you click on it, click on masks to drop it down and change the blending mode to none so that we can see our mask and, and see what's happening. We're gonna change that later, right? Click down on this uh, drop down again and click on the mask path. We're gonna start in a, a keyframe to animate uh, this motion. So I started right there and let's move forward. What you want to do is you just want to create a mask around your your subject, the object, whatever you want to remove and give it a little, little bit of space around that object, very rough and you want to track that thing from start to finish. So I'll fast forward the section but you can do the same, just move your play head a little bit uh, down like this and then select your mask like that and move it around. If you need to change uh, the shape of your mask you need to click this uh, selection tool up here and drag over the points that you want to select and then move them up like this. Otherwise you can just select all of it and um, move the mask around as it is. So I'm going to fast forward this. I'll see you guys now. Alright, so now I'm at this point where I've tracked forward. Uh, before I start tracking backwards, a good idea is just to just to go over your footage and watch the mask that it has tracked properly. So I'm just making sure that no part of the subject or the object is outside of those masking lines. But this looks good as I'm just scrolling through it. Okay, so I'm just gonna fast forward this section. I'm just tracking backwards. Just the same thing that I did going forward. I'm gonna do the same thing with the mask uh, all the way back. Alright, so just to save time, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it here. Okay, let's have the mask on so that we can see it and let's just scroll through. Looks like our little guy's inside of the mask at all times. What you can do is you can change this back to uh, not add, you can change it to subtract and um, scroll through like this and see if you can notice any parts uh, popping out of that black blob that you've created. Um, I'm happy with that. I might, we might get a few problems um, just with the other boy being too close to the mask, but let's see how it goes. And then this next part is really, really simple. So what you have to do is make sure that your mask over here is changed from none to subtract. And then all you do is you go to the side here, go down to content aware fill. Uh, if it's not there, you click on window at the top and make sure that content aware fill is selected. Click on that baby. Um, you can choose it off expansion. So from what I've picked up, the best is between two to four. I leave mine on four. Fill, 
me method, you want it to be the object. Uh, surface, from my understanding, uh, if you have flat surfaces, um, say like you want to uh, take something off the side of a building and edge blend, I'm not too sure, sorry. Uh, but we want to go with object. Uh, make sure lighting correction is selected and then what you want to do is start on strong, check it out if it's uh, going a bit funny or if it doesn't work, uh, then go to moderate and subtle. This is um, the, from understanding the AI technology and how it works with the lighting for the masks. This stuff is so high grade for me, I actually, I, I don't know, I just know. Click these settings and it should work. Arrange the work area, that's from the work area at the bottom. And then all you do is click generate fill layer. Sit back, firstly save it, and then sit back. And what it's gonna do, is gonna analyze the footage there. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. And when it's done, you should have something that looks like this. Okay, and there it is. If we look to the video, uh, the little boy's gone. Our little accountant has disappeared. And we're left with Rooney in a hat and weird sleeves. But that's it guys, it is that easy. I hope that helps. If this uh, helped you, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys soon. Cool, peace out.